Hi, I'm Lily of Mindful Beauty and welcome to my channel. I am a licensed esthetician and a Reiki master. I'm an intuitive and an empath. So the purpose of me doing these videos is because it is my passion to help heal as many people as I can through understanding the seven chakras. So I have decided to start a inner beauty series of the seven chakras. Today, I am going to start with the first chakra, actually the third chakra. The third chakra is the throat chakra. And the reason why I'm doing the throat as my first chakra of this inner beauty series is because we are in Gemini season. And so what better way to start my first YouTube video with doing it under the Gemini Zodiac energy because the Geminis are um, the thinkers of all the Zodiac signs. They are actually the most intelligent of all the Zodiac signs. They are an air element. Um, they're called the twins because of their duality, their ability to think, communicate. They love um, holding down fast conversations, intelligent conversations. They can take wisdom and fun stuff and find the intelligence in it and intricate um, understandings of, of Gemini, uh, the planet associated with Gemini's is Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication. So hence my first video being about communicating. And the good news is that today Mercury stands still in the sky going direct in the next couple of weeks because it was in retrograde. So if anyone knows about or doesn't know about Mercury in retrograde, let me explain really quickly. The planet Mercury being the planet of communication and travel when it's in retrograde, it is a time for us humans to regroup, rethink, revisit, reanalyze um, our lives, to be more patient. I know a lot of people were always just like, oh, Mercury in retrograde, everything is crazy. Um, it is to some degree, there are challenges like today, I tried to get um, onto a website and sign in with my passcode didn't work locked me out I missed the appointment because I couldn't get the information like it was a hot mess um, But I was okay because I was just like, you know what? I'm not supposed to do this today. It's fine um, Rescheduled is all good. Everybody had attitudes. So I was like, yeah, this is okay. I don't take this appointment right now um, anyway what I want to say about um, Mercury going in retrograde is it's a great time to take a break from writing projects or any kind of project that has to do with communication and go back to purpose. What was the intention of doing this? Um, maybe take a vacation. Even though it's in retrograde, it doesn't mean that you're not going to end up where you want to be. It just might be some delays and some you know, static in between. It doesn't mean that the whole world stops. Obviously, it doesn't. We got other reasons why that could happen. <laughs> but um, Mercury in retrograde is a great time to just be more patient with yourself because when it goes direct, that's when it's we're clean and clear to move our plan and take action and communicate in the best way since we've had that break. So today, Mercury went still in the sky. It's transiting going forward. It's in Gemini. So all of these things deal with communication, which is why I decided to start with the third chakra, our throat chakra. It governs communication, how we talk, how we express ourselves. And I um, do power classes for events, uh, seven chakra power class to help people understand their energy. The chakra is our energy wheels. We have seven of them, they're all connected. We actually have more than seven chakras, but these are the main ones that really affect our day-to-day -day lives. And it is my passion and my mission to help people take this information and really use them at any point throughout the day. Um, now, I've already discussed that it is how we communicate. So. When it is out of balance, 
we can tend to stutter, um, not, a, not really communicate clearly how we feel, lack of self-expression. Um, we could tend to talk too fast and regret the things that we say. We can become chatterboxes and just ramble on being the center of attention because you need to be heard. Um, it could also be about communicating, public speaking, singing, writing, anything to do with communicating. Um, when it's out of alignment, we can have a sore throat, inflammation, obviously is, is dis-ease. Um, and so when it's in balance, we communicate clearly. We've had our time out with the retrograde, especially recently, to rethink things. If in relationship, you've been wanting to communicate but didn't know how, Mercury in retrograde was a great time to check in with your emotions and your thoughts and try to find the best way to express them now. Um, if it has to do with, you know, career, this is a great time to put your projects out. Um, and so now time for the next part. There's of two the video. things that you can do when you want to heal that I can show you today on this video that you can do to heal your throat chakra. And one of them is to journal, to write down how you see your day unfolding from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. What does that day look like? Who's in the movie with you in your mind? It's the same way with visualization. So journaling is a great way to heal the throat chakra, send good energy to it. Another great way is what we're gonna do right now. It's breathing exercises through the throat chakra. So this time you can find yourself in a quiet space. If you're not, take a moment, obviously, play it back when you are in a quiet Close space. Your eyes. Take a few deep breaths and count in, a count of four in and a count of four out to begin calming the body. So you'll count four, three, two, one as you inhale and you exhale, four, three, two, one, or vice versa. I like counting to four just so that the breath is even in and out. Listen to the sound of your breath and exhale. So it should be even, and that starts to calm the body down. And as you're breathing and you're counting, start to calm your thoughts, your shoulders, your mouth, your jaw, your chest, your neck. And then start to imagine the color blue as you inhale, traveling from the bottom of your feet all the way up to your throat chakra. And then exhale this color blue out in front of you and around you and release the color and let go. When you inhale, again, inhale the color blue, traveling up from the bottom of your feet all the way up right to your throat chakra and allow the color to come out of your breath and releasing and letting go. Do this three to five times, inhaling and exhaling, sending blue light around your throat area and see this blue light like a cloud expanding around your neck, side of you, the back of you, all around you. And as you breathe this color in, it should feel really good. 
and do this a couple times a day, especially if you feel like you've had a hard day communicating with people, if you just had an argument or a misunderstanding with someone, step back, go somewhere quiet, just breathe the color blue to your throat chakra and just give yourself that peace. It's really that simple. There are more visualization techniques that I have that I'd like to share with you. Click on the link below and we can get started with our inner beauty healing. Thanks for joining me.